Alright guys, I think you might like this one and please allow me to tell you why. For the disclaimer, this video has not been sponsored or affected by Lenovo in any way, shape or form. In fact, I bought this device for the sake of making this video. This is Lenovo M720Q Small Factor PC. In fact, this is a workstation from about 5 years ago. What makes this Lenovo so special is not ability to replace the RAM sticks, an SSD drive or even ability to install pretty much any available PCIe network card there. You can even install even a 10 gig model if you prefer so just pay attention to cooling since a lot of these 10 gig models tend to heat a lot. But what makes this Lenovo so special is in fact ability to replace the CPU. And this is something what we cannot take for granted while talking about these small factor PCs, especially the ones designed for the firewall and PFSense use. For the sake of this video, I'm going to replace this i3 8100T CPU with the i5 9500T model, which is basically a six cores, six threads definitely an overkill for firewall and especially for home use. The most powerful CPU you can install into this Lenovo is actually i9 9900T CPU 8 core 16 threads and that CPU is basically a gaming PC level of a CPU even today regardless of it being about 5 generations behind the very latest Intel desktop CPUs. And considering how much RAM you can install in this thing, I don't think that you will be running out of NAT tables anytime soon. For the sake of this video, I have decided to install 16 gigs of RAM, which is obviously a crazy amount of RAM purely for firewall use. These Lenovo devices can come with three different power supplies depending on the configuration. For example, my unit came with this 90 watts power supply and it had Intel i3 pre-installed. Please pay extra attention on this in case you are planning to upgrade your CPU at some point. I did some power consumption measurements with this i5-9500T CPU and I would say in idle or very kind of light use in terms of browsing the internet, watching YouTube and whatsoever, the whole device is using about 10 to maybe 15 watts of power. But when I, for example, launch a buffer bloat test, which tends to load CPU on some degree, then the power consumption is around 27 watts. It's not a lot, but yeah, I'm aware that there are some devices which can use a pretty much like six watts regardless of the use case. But of course we can argue whether that CPU can handle all the load as this i5-9500T. For the network card, I have selected dual port 2.5 gig Intel based network card, which is actually using Intel's i226 network chip. And for some reason, this card cannot be bought here in Europe. I don't know why, so I had to order it from AliExpress. I will leave a link down below in the description of this video in case you want to buy one. This card will come with two different back plates with the regular one and the low one and gladly that low one can be used with this Lenovo. I also tried to 3D print these back plates for this network card particularly but as we can see they are in totally wrong size so I gave up and just used the one which came with this network card. Please pay attention that you will need a PCIe riser as well and that link can also be found in the description of this video. Now obviously a lot of you might suspect is this really our Intel's card or some random fake card there and I did some quick tests in terms of throughput performance and it definitely showed me two and a half gig. The seller is also asking buyers to download the drivers from Intel's website, so nothing shady on that part either. In terms of firewall performance, you can toss pretty much anything on this Lenovo and I'm sure it will still work pretty well. 
Obviously, this is way overpowered for so many home users, but nevertheless, you still have that extra room in case you upgrade your internet connection up to one gig, two and a half, or even 10 gig. Also worth noting is that this integrated network card is also Intel based, so you can still use it while running, for example, PFSense. And this port can be used, for example, for remote management or even as additional interface. Interestingly enough, Lenovo is still releasing BIOS updates for this device, regardless of it being like four years old. This is also something what we cannot take for granted, especially in the small factor PCs and those random ones bought from the internet. Uh, in most cases, those devices are not getting any kind of BIOS updates whatsoever, let alone four years after the device has been released. And yeah, those BIOS updates are not the most important thing in the world if the device is stable and running fine, but of course having some couple of security fixes here and there is always nice to have. To demonstrate how silent this thing is while running, here is a short sound sample. Obviously one of the most important things about these devices is availability as well. While shooting this video I have seen that many secondhand markets are basically offering these devices with different specs. I strongly recommend you to buy pretty much weaker model for you and then upgrade as you move on because most often than not you won't need the most powerful model unless you want to play with it and of course pay the extra money for it. My personal experience with this Lenovo device has been really great. I know that this is not a server, not any kind of network device, basically this is just a workstation designed for the office use. So I honestly don't know how long this thing will last, but considering how little I basically paid for this, so if it breaks a year, two, three after this, I'm totally fine with it. And uh, so far I didn't have to reboot it. The device is really silent. It doesn't generate much of heat or anything else. So I'm quite happy with it. At some point I might even upgrade to maybe even better network card or something, but other than that it's boringly good I would say. So guys, hopefully you find this video to be informative enough for you and if you find this content to be interesting enough, hopefully you will stick around. My name is Leo, bye bye.